Hi, today we have a wonderful topic. Let's get started. Dating advice for men. The world of dating is a weird, weird world. That's why so many horror stories come from it. Less horror stories come from actual horror novels than the world of real world dating. And that fact is disturbing to anyone who puts a feeler out to the real world of men meeting women. Women meeting men and same genders meeting other same gendered people. Or any other variation we might have missed. It's all basically frightening and can scar you for life if you let it. You've probably met somebody that's been incredibly burned by the dating scene. It's not a pretty sight. So, let's try to sift through the chaff and find the strategies and tips that'll work universally for people who are trying to either meet that special someone or juggle a few special somebodies. These are dating tips for those out there carrying the Y chromosome. The men who want to get out there and get at them. Here are some things to keep in mind when you are going around town. Hitting the scene. Four dating tips for men. One. Women want to date good men. They say 10% of the men that are out there get 90% of the women. Why? Because they're the alpha males of the group. They have the pick of the women they want, while the rest of us shuffle our feet around and play the nice guy. They don't have to. They already have the interest and just have to parlay it into coordinating the proper logistics and pushing physical escalation forward. Sucks, doesn't it? Not really, because once you learn what it is women are after, you can actively make yourself into the type of person that can add value to them instead of taking it away. You can stop being that guy who takes things away from people and start being the guy who adds. It's entirely fixable. 2. Women want to date men who are leaders. This is more subtle, but if someone is projecting influence on the group, that's the person everyone's going to be attracted to. In a loud group, the quiet one is viewed as the odd one out and the attractive one. In a quiet group, the loud one is the same way. The person who can influence everyone's actions and gets the most attention, the person that people defer to is generally the leader. You can be a leader. Stop being the quietest, most timid version of yourself and live up to the promise of the image that you have in your head, instead of thinking about what the proper thing to do in a given situation is. Think about what the best version of yourself would do and simply follow suit. 3. Don't be afraid of getting sexual. One of the biggest problems that you see again and again with guys that are going out is that they get the girls interested in them then don't know what to do once the energy in a conversation shifts in a different direction. Girls want to be sexual. Otherwise, they'd have no use for us men. They just sit at home, doing whatever it is that brings them joy. But there's something in them, just like us, that makes them want to ravage the man they find attractive. You just have to be that attractive man. So, when the best version of yourself is faced with a girl who is hanging around you, trying to be alone with you, etc., etc., what is he going to do? He's going to step up his game and bring up to the next level is what he's going to do. Isolate her and start up an escalation ladder, either one that you've heard about before, or one that works for you. 4. Don't be afraid of meeting a lot of people. There's a great big world out there, with a lot of people doing a lot of different things. Guess what? You have an opportunity to sift through them and find the right person that works for you. That's not a curse, it's a blessing. Once you get out into the great big world of dating, you have to realize that having taste and choice will serve you instead rather than limiting yourself. If you have taste and a powerful frame, be prepared, it's going to be much easier than you originally thought it would be. Girls like that and people, it doesn't matter what you look like. Looks are just what you think they are. Girls really don't care. They care more about what you bring to the table status-wise. But that's an entirely different article to be looking at other than just some simplistic dating tips for men. Get out there and enjoy yourself. That's what life is all about, isn't it? I hope you enjoyed these dating tips for men. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.